I would definitely describe myself as adventurous. Uh, my life always broke away from the mold, always building tree forts and trying to get away from the house and sneaking off. We wanted to be remote. We wanted snow-capped mountains. That was a dream of ours. That was a dream of Michael's. When I first saw Namaya Valley, I was literally shaken. This place has a gift every moment. Uh, living out here, I've kind of found that blend of adventure and responsibility. I like Michael as a 100% package. He's very good at being the person he needs to be at the time that he needs to be it. So when he needs to be strong and tough and when he needs to put his foot down and say, this is the way it needs to be done, he's very comfortable in that position. And Nicole, she's my ace in the hole, you know. We've raised two kids, we're gonna run a ranch and we've jumped countries together. She can handle this. Michael's military background comes in handy just because of the order of everything. Taking care of my family pretty much sets like a military operation. It's scheduled. You have things that you have to do to be successful and to survive. The ability to stick to it and roll with the punches and, and adapt, all of which Michael Lars has, that's what's gonna enable him to make a life out here and to remain out here. If he was gonna stay out here, he had to adapt, him and his family. I think Michael Lars is really committed as far as seeing this through. I think he fell in love with the concept first of being out here, and then once he was able to actually spend time and live life out here, I think that bond with the land and the area and the horses, I think it only got stronger.